Hi everyone, welcome back and welcome back to Off Season Crafts. Off Season Crafts means that whatever the season is currently, like um, we're in March, so I could be working on St. Patrick's Day or even maybe Easter. I'm not, I'm working on something else. Now, I want to give you full disclosure, I started working on this last 2019, like October, November time frame, and I just never got a chance to finish it. So, um... We're finishing it now. All I really need to do is um, finish this portion up and put the jump rings on or the binder clips on the binder ring. So this is how it looks on the front. I use three green because it's Christmas thing. And this is how it looks on the back. This is some wrapping paper from Michaels that they have at the like $2 section in the front of the store. Well, most of the Michaels have them in the front of the store. I'm not sure how your Michaels is set up. And um, let's go ahead and get into it. So I did laminate the covers because you know I'm all about lamination. Um, and it says Merry Christmas. This is a Dollar Tree sticker and this is a actual card. So some of it didn't get sealed in because it has that treatment on there. And I was struggling to laminate the page for some strange reason. And this is just some scrapbook paper and it has a little um, triangle pocket. And right here I took um, index card, inked the edges, stamped out this little Christmas tree. And I think I did a project last year with this so you can see that. And right here you can see I used my edge trimmer, scissors, um, fist scars, and then this one is my favorite that the way it cuts. It looks like a tag, so I like that one. Like a um not a tag, a um ticket. Oh my goodness, ticket. And so here is just something to write on, some notes. Um I don't want to know if the, I don't want to say it's a junk journal, but it is a definitely a journal. Um, you can journal in and I thought by not binding it like I normally bind it it would be easy for people to you know get an idea how you can add pictures in take stuff out I just thought it'd be a lot easier to do with these clips because I don't use my cinch machine enough so that's why I use my I wanted to use the cinch so we have some lined paper and this is from composition notebook paper I just cut it down cut off the white part and cut it in the middle and this is from Michael's, um, excuse me, Hobby Lobby. This I thought would be really cute in here. You know, you can just throw a little picture on there or whatever you want to do. This is from um, the scrap pack that I showed you all a few months ago now, a lot of months ago now. And um, some more scrapbook paper, line paper. This was such a fun project to work on when I was working on it. And then I just kind of got overwhelmed because I was one, running out of time for Christmas. So I kind of was just like, oh, Brandy, just stop it and work on some other stuff. And that's what I did. So this has a pocket at the top. You can drop things in if you want. And I just have this as a reminder to show you all that it's a pocket. And then right here, um, it's another pocket. And I'm, I like a lot of scripty stuff. So that's why I use that in my projects. And then if you get bored... You can do some Sudoku if you like. I like Sudoku. It helps with the brain. And this is, um, I think this is Merry Days. I'm not sure. I don't know all the um, paper pads by heart. So, yeah. And I just got bird because, you know, even though I'm in Texas, it does get cold. So, if I was to use this for myself, I could put, like, little pictures here and write a note. You know, we went um, and drove around. You know, because most, well, you don't know. Maybe you know. A lot of neighborhoods have like Christmas tree villages or Christmas village where you drive down a street or two streets or our entire neighborhood is all like decked out in Christmas, Santa Claus, angels, um, reindeer, snowmen, all kinds of stuff, the Grinch, everything. So I think that would be really cool to do something like that. And then some more lined paper, blank paper to doodle if you want to doodle. Uh, maybe you want to write down your favorite recipe from, you know, you go to your friend's house for a potluck. And you're like, oh, how'd you make that spinach dip? And they tell you, you get that. And then we have this right here. Very cool um, to be able to do things like that. I think I'm, we're going to start doing that. I think we're going to start traveling for the holidays versus staying at home. Once, um, once until a big roommate, I guess. <laughs> I don't mind staying at home and I don't mind traveling. I just don't like flying that much. And this is a card, which I thought was so cute. Because you guys know I am so partial to snowmen. Whenever I see this snowman in particular, I think of Don H. Creates. Because 
I don't know why I just associate her with snowmen um, and Christmas and like cookies. I don't know. It just makes me think of her like that. It's all a good thing, not a bad thing at all. And here's another little Christmas card that I cut up and cut down. Probably had a sentiment or something. That's why I did that. And here's another index card to write more recipes. You know, grandma's favorite um, rum cake recipe um, or your favorite um, sangria. Oh my goodness. Um, have you ever had sangria like made from your home sangria? I did that about eight years ago. Delicious. Um, but now I don't drink as much as I used to drink because I'm the primary caregiver for the little roommate and I can't be walking around drunk <laughs> trying to take care of that child. Um, here's a little belly band right here. You can put things in. I don't know what you would put. I really don't know what belly bands are used for. I've never watched anyone say, oh yeah, and I use my belly band for this. I just think you can hold papers and pictures and things like that. So that's why I put them in my creations. And here's a little notepad with some owls. Um, and here is some more blank paper. Now I hadn't used my cinch in a while, so yeah, I was nervous. I, I missed, I messed up about eight sheets, not doing it properly, but you know, we got there in the end. Um, here's another little pocket that I made and here's a little thing to remind me that it's a pocket, more places to put pictures or write notes. And whenever I do the cinch books or whatever, I like to have the pages not all be symmetrical. I want them to be a little bit asymmetrical because, you know, it gives a little bit more pizzazz and flavor to whatever you're creating. Um, and I don't remember where I got these jump rings from. If I were a guessing woman, I would say, Al uh, not AliExpress, um, Amazon. So I have assortment, but I'm not sure. I can't really be 100% sure. And here's another little pocket right here, peekaboo. And then I was so proud of myself when I created this. Um, because it's an index card that I stenciled over and it's a little pocket. Like a little tuck pocket, which I think is so cool. Just continues on front and back. I like that a lot. And here we go. Here we go. Now this one, I when I made this, I don't know what I was thinking. But it's like a little... Um, pocket and it has three little tags I guess you can say it says December and I just kind of went a little bit crazy and layered everything up I think Unique Whimsy and I had did a project swap and I was like oh I want to try that and this is the result of that I think I think um, but what I did is I took my scallop punch and cut it in half and just glued it down and took two sheets of paper and glued them on top so this is how they look now this one I screwed up because this should be on the front, the winter portion where it says good tidings in winter. But I think it, you know, it doesn't really matter because, you know, you pull stuff out. Well, I do. And I write on the back a lot of times versus the front of notes, notebook paper, and things like that. And I usually start writing from the back when I was younger. I would write backwards to forward. Um, this is a ledger pager page from the Die Cuts With A View, the map one that I love. And then right here... Is just the back of the page. I wrote handmade by Brandy. I don't normally do that on a lot of my work, but I was inspired by many of you to do that. So that is my off-season craft for the month of March. I want to say thank you all for watching, and until next time, happy crafting.